Awesome. I love Got all those spot. guys though. Like they're they're like comedians. Like they don't want a real job. The, Contractors? Oh yeah. Oh, the gate guy, the yeah. sauna guy, the this guy, the that guy. They all got their little fucking. Then the handyman guys. <clears throat> yeah. Um, well, I grew up with those guys because I my dad was an architect, so I did construction from the time I was in high school. All all throughout the summer, I was always doing side jobs. I always had jobs on construction sites as a laborer, or oh, yeah. carpenter's assistant. So I was always around those guys. I tried to do that. I, I lasted eight days. I just, with my fucking fair skin, we were doing roofing in July, <laughs> and it was just, I just remember, I, my job was I was putting in the scaffolding, going around, you know, when you, you fucking drill the hole, then you put mm -hmm. the triangle thing, and then you fucking put the bolt on. And this yeah. Irish guy kept going, Billy, you must work quicker. You must work quickly, is what he kept saying to me. And I finally stuck my head out the side of the house. I was like, dude, I've done this for three days. If you want me to fucking go quicker, you know, we, we were like literally three stories up. And he finally shut the fuck up. He must be a non-union guy. Uh, oh, yeah. Dude, I remember there was a fucking guy on the site. I swear to God, he wore the same fucking jeans every day with like no underwear, right? <laughs> and, and it had a fucking giant fucking <laughs> hole right here on his thigh. So I'm in fucking working in the house. And I just remember he stepped over something with his left leg and the whole fucking hole moved right, just like flashed his fucking junk. <laughs> I was just like, and I didn't know how to stand up to people. And plus I was, you know, I was the new guy on the thing and I just was wanted to be like, <laughs> buddy, how about you put on some fucking boxers or something so I don't got to look at your fucking junk. First of all, he's walking around with like a goddamn nail gun. Not like boxers could stop that, but any <laughs> extra layer of clothing that you could have. This guy's literally like his fucking shit, you know, like an owl looking out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yet it's burned into my head. His dick. I could pick his junk out of a lineup. <sighs> that was the first time I ever encountered alcoholics. I didn't know, really know about alcoholics until I started working on job sites. And I realized was, there was guys that just had a drink. They'd drink at lunch. They were just drinking all the time. They were always trying to quit. I remember one guy was like, I'm quitting. I'm done. And I remember thinking, that's good. You're getting your shit together. You know, I was like yeah. 15. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Two weeks later, fucking can of beer on the job. I was like, oh. Yeah, I just it. remember I, could, yeah, I couldn't eat enough. I was just always hungry. Yeah. Oh, I, was, yeah. I, I would pack two sandwiches, three sandwiches. And you, did, you just put like, like you were at the... Uh, those it's eating real work. content, yeah, that's yeah. what people used to do. No, those were like like those guys. I mean, I I would come home like it was like I went to football practice. Yep. It was just it just yeah. I I I if I stuck around for another month, I could have got in construction worker shape. I was but I just sucked at it.